When you're working with big video files, graphic files, renders, and images, it's easy to run at a room on your computer disk drive. So um, I used to run something on the Mac called Grand Perspective, and it would basically just do a complete search and show me a tree map of all of the space I'm using on my computer. Well, thankfully, there's Sequoia View for Windows. It's a free application that will do the exact same thing. And it's really easy to find those giant files that are clogging up your system. And, um, you know, I'm guilty of, of not being a good housekeeper, especially when it's big files and maybe files that, that I feel a little bit apprehensive about deleting right away. And before you know it, my hard drive's filling up and then I'm getting a warning and I need to do something about it. So an easy way to do this is just run a, a, a Sequoia View uh, scan of your system and it's going to alert you to some of the big files. Let's go have a look. So I've already run it on my C drive and you can run it on any of the drives that you happen to have. Um, you can also dig down. So if I can go deep, 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 deep into the levels and, and go up and up, I, I basically just stay on the outside level of everything in here. Um, you can also go to the options and turn off things like show hidden system files. That's all the stuff over here on the right hand side. And if I just mouse over, you can see tons of Windows files over here. This is stuff you do not want to mess around with. So I'm going to go into my options, show hidden files, apply and get rid of that. Just, you know, be really careful. Sequoia View lets you point into stuff that you shouldn't be seeing, like hibernation files. You know, what the heck are they? Those are things that just help your computer to wake up quicker. And if you delete those, you just might be causing problems. So it's a good idea just to shut that stuff off. You can also tell it to show free disk space if you want. And when I apply, you'll see a giant amount of disk space. Um, I don't find that very useful. So I'll leave it as is. Um, it's not as colorful as Grand Perspective, so I like to, to change that a little bit. So I'll go into the colors, and two things that it's not showing are my video files. So I'm gonna choose an MOV file, and I'll add that. And let's make that bright uh, red. Click OK. And MXF files, MXF, also very large video files. And let's make those bright blue apply and boom all of a sudden holy smokes now i can see what's clogging up my drive click ok and now when i mouse over hey there's one of my video shoots for mac refugee um, the website and if i right click on here i can go up and down a level i can open the file which if it has something set to open that file it will or I can go to explore and find it. So here it's going to show me where that file is and here I can delete that file. And if I mouse over, this is a two gigabyte file. That's why it's showing up so large inside there. Uh, down here are the MXF files that I uh, have from um, uh, my Canon XF uh, that I was shooting. Over on the left-hand side, these are program files. I think you wanna stay away from the left-hand side. Sequoia View is smart enough to put all those things on the left, the Windows files on the right. You're basically concentrating on the stuff over here, trying to find uh, you know, things that are clogging up your drive um, like this. This is a zip file that I don't need anymore and I guarantee you it is uh, pretty big and if I uh, click on it you can see that uh, that file is 4.72 gigabytes in size down here in the bottom right as I mouse over that so I could probably get rid of that and save myself some space. So this doesn't mean you shouldn't have a good backup plan because before you start going in and cleaning house and throwing things away, you should be backing up. And, you know, I'm going to have uh, different examples of talking about backup later on. But Sequoia View, I count on it all the time to just alert me to any time that I'm losing tons of disk space. And sometimes you can reclaim, you know, uh, a 25% of your disk space with files that you thought you needed, you didn't know you needed, you didn't even know the darn things were there, but just be careful and don't touch the Windows system files and start throwing those away or you're gonna be deep in the poop.